Let's start with Dominic McGuinness at Liverpool versus Chelsea. The Anfield, Dom McGuinness and Ray Houghton. Liverpool nil, Chelsea won. Drogba with that goal after Steven Gerrard's inexplicable... Oh, they can't even say the word. Inexplicable, applicable, but go... <laughs> <laughs> That's like Stanley Unwin. Yeah, it was. He's, he's an inability to say it was indeed uh, Inexplic- in, inexplicable. Very much so. Uh, and it seemed to be catching amongst their match reporters this week because mm. this was uh, Sir Jeff Peters at Stoke versus Everton. Sid to be back in the starting lineup for Stoke. The changes for the visitors: Hibbert, Billet, Billet. You know him. <laughs> yeah, that's the boy. Good recovery, though, Ooh, Jeff. Well done. Well yeah. done, mate. Uh, even Big Alan was at it back in the studio. Sampdoria, Palermo, Werder Bremen, Bayer Leverkusen. Oh, what a thing. Please. I do struggle with those German words. Who? Bayer Leverkusen. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> a case for all your Louvre needs. Uh, now, this is a caller from uh, overseas. Very nice, very glamorous. Uh, to Mike Graham. Double three, double four. Let's see if we can find Pete in Washington, D.C. Hello, Pete. Hello, Mike. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm very... Yeah, I, I'm Pete. Uh, some people might know me by my nickname, Knuckles, but uh, there we go. Yeah, who, who might that be? <laughs> yeah, not me, mate. Never heard of you, Never to be honest, of. with respect. <laughs> Brilliant. Next up, Andy. Uh, here's Quinny on the Weekend Sports Breakfast. Good morning and welcome to the Weekend Sports Breakfast. I'm Mickey Quinn and I'm sitting next to me. <laughs> that is quite profound, isn't it? <laughs> when you get, actually, if you give that experience. some thought, <laughs> what he said there, he's very clever. I don't understand it, <laughs> no, but neither. it is very clever. <laughs> neither do I. Uh, now, this is our Scottish correspondent, mm. the excellent Mark Donaldson. And what makes you think he momentarily can't remember Craig Brewster's name? I was at the awards last night, and he i mean, he was up against Derek McInnes, who I think has done an excellent job at St. Johnston. And he was also up against um, well, a man who's done very well at, at, at Ross County. Yeah, but yeah. who might that be? <laughs> What's his name? That's, <laughs> That's what honest. we want to know. Yeah, look, it's happened to us all again <laughs> at some stage. Here's a caller to Mike and Andy. I'm a West Ham fan. I played football from about the age of five or six. I come from Essex originally, so kind of inbred, you know, all the way through till I was 18. Oh dear. Blimey, OK. Well, that's a bit, da- a bit of a downer on Essex, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> no. not fair, that not really, right, isn't really, it? Not really, no. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie won't be pleased when he hears that. <laughs> um, Fisherman's Blues, uh, Nigel Botherway now with news of a fantastic book. doesn't say who it's from, but it says Geoffrey Palmer's eel fishing guide was Steve Ricketts, author of Eels, The Final Frontier. Oh, yeah, Eel's the final. Oh, do you want to get on, do you want to get on to Amazon? Hang on a second. Hang on, just key that in. Oh, hang on, yeah, Eel's the final frontier. It is here. Is it going well? Yeah, people who also bought this book bought Winkles, um, Edge of Darkness. So I might be picking that up as well. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that because uh, it's cheaper if you buy the two together, you see. Back to Mike and Andy hmm. with an email. Che in Romford. Right. Che, 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 whatever it is. Anyway. Che, yeah. C-H-E. How am I pronouncing che. that? Che. Che. Uh, the is, reason... is there a resonance sign above the E? No. Right, it's Che then. Uh, che. The reason... <laughs> <laughs> is there a Che? Uh, a che? What's um, a resonance sign? It might have just said Cheers <laughs> from Bob. They didn't, you know what I mean? There was a letter missing. They didn't realise. <laughs> cheers, Andy and Mike, from Bob. Uh, and finally, mm. Andy... It's uh, Susan. She's been on the station before. Yeah. We think it's Sue from the Sooty <laughs> Show, know, don't yeah. we? Definitely. She calls herself Susan on radio, but she basically is a glove puppet. Um, mm. And she called her old mate Martin Kellner in the wee small hours. And it could be good news, couldn't it, mm. for one of our top presenters here on Talk Sport. Listen to this. Uh, not I only... thought it was a jolly annoying that we have to listen to stuff about football mm. when we're on a talk Station, yeah, you know. Sport, I mean, I, I thought the, the, the name. football actually comes in after. Well, I suppose it comes I mean, in the, 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 the football starts at six mm. when I switch off. Right. And uh, I, I don't switch on until sort of ten o'clock at night when... Uh, um, Ian Collins. Or, or Ian Mike, or Collins or somebody else, or, or Mike Graham comes mm. on. Yeah, cheers. OK. Now, oh, yes, I do actually sometimes listen to... Uh, uh, Porky Perry. Oh, yes. Well, he's always entertaining, isn't he? He's I like... love him, yes. Oh, well, we all love him. He's, he's always got something balmy to say. I love him, I yeah. Mean, you seem... I think he's a well... jolly nice person. Mm, well, nobody's really? arguing And he there. still hasn't got the first Mrs Perry. <laughs> no, well, you know... I, mean... I don't think he ever will, really. You yeah. know. I thought you loved him. You don't think so? Well, no, I'm afraid... Um... Because yeah. uh, he sounds as though he doesn't really want... No, I think he's... Uh, he's, he's, he's prob- 
There we are. Well, <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's a marriage. Well, actually, I'd say it's a marriage made in heaven, but we know how much Mike loves sport. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she can't stand sport. I mean, on that first date, when he takes it to Goodison for yeah. a game, you know. I know. They do do a lot of sport on their show, so, but there you go. That's Susan for you. Yes, yeah, Susan, there she is from the Sutley Show. Always good to hear from her. There's your clips of the week. Uh...